Hey guys, are you ready for another compilation of misconceptions? Is it like that the Chinese wall is not actually visible from space? That the rule of 3 seconds of fallen food on the floor doesn't work? That blue blood doesn't exist? That sleepwalkers can be woken up and be fine? Yes, about that kind of stuff. Cool, where do we start? What's your call? Well, for example, how about a quarter coin falling from a height? Can it kill a person? Oh, so you also think that a coin, when dropped from a height, acquires the effect of a bullet fired from a sniper rifle. Well, in science class we were told about the acceleration of free fall, that due to the force of gravity, an object will accelerate every second by 9.8 meters. That's right. But what about air resistance? Air resistance is negligible. In the case of large bodies, yes. But not in the case of a coin. In short, if you throw a coin from a building, in the end it will develop a speed of about 10 meters per second. In comparison, even with a gun, which has a bullet speed of 3 to 500 meters per second, this is not quite enough to kill a person. To hurt, yes, but not to kill. What if it's a skyscraper? Skyscrapers create special wind dynamics. Simply put, the wind hits a wall and starts blowing upward. As a result, the coin will not pick up deadly speed, since the air resistance balances the acceleration of gravity. How about a helicopter? Well, there's another problem. You won't be able to hit the target, as the coin will rotate, tumble and flop tens or even hundreds of meters from the ideal calculated point. And what if it's in a vacuum, where there's no air resistance at all? Well, under this condition, ordinary rain would be fatal for us, so the probability of killing a person with a coin thrown from a great height is negligible. Ok, well, do you have some combo? Sure, here you go. The Vikings never had their own coins. They only used the money from countries they attacked or collaborated with. Which, by the way, is a lot. Hey, how much is your pork? 100 rubles. Rubles? Yep. Which are those? You don't have any of those. Oh, come on, my pockets are full of all kinds of shit except rubles. Maybe you'll take pounds? Hey, I don't care, so I'll take them. The Vikings never wore horned helmets, which, by the way, are often attributed to them. Oh, God, take that shit off. And despite the fact that the Vikings are credited with the way of life of robbers, almost all of them were first of all farmers, and only then warriors. So, all crops are harvested, right? Yeah! All right, then, get ready for the raids. So, you'll remember this, right? Of course I will. I'm not a goldfish with a memory of three seconds. What, is this also wrong? Well, goldfish are not the smartest creatures in the world, but the duration of their memory is not at all three seconds, but whole three months. In a 1994 study, scientists trained goldfish to push a lever to receive a reward, and this could only be done during one hour a day. Goldfish appear to be able to understand how narrow this window of opportunity is, demonstrating that they can keep track of time. However, this won't surprise the owners of aquariums with goldfish, because they know what their pets are capable of. As the study's author, Phil G, says, the fact that fish know when to expect feeding gives them a significant evolutionary advantage. The aquarium fish Melanotania dubulae, or iris, can remember the path along which it can escape from danger for about 11 months. Guppies can find the way out of the maze, which consists of six consecutive forks. They not only learn to find a way out, but they do it faster and more accurately after five days of training. In addition, it turned out that archer fish also have a good memory, namely, they can distinguish human faces. According to a 2016 study, they can find the familiar face among 44 new faces. The researchers tried to get the fish to release a jet of water every time they saw a familiar human face, and 89% of the time the archers were not mistaken. The fact that the archers were able to accomplish this task suggests that in order to recognize a person's face, you don't need a complex brain. Phil G notes that goldfish may also be able to recognize their owners. 
But there is no scientific confirmation of this yet, since in nature, goldfish live in muddy waters, where it makes no sense to rely on vision as much as archer fish rely on it. Okay, what about sharks? They really don't get cancer? Oh, they do get cancer. A lot. According to the research of Professor Ostrander, predatory fish can suffer from eight types of cancer, including not only cancer of the blood and blood-forming organs, liver and cloaca, but also cartilage cancer. Is it the very cartilage? the same miraculous tissue that marketers are so successfully selling as a cure for cancer? Exactly! Gary Ostrander first described the cases of tumors in 40 sharks and emphasized that an accurate record of cancer in sharks has never been conducted. So it is simply absurd to say that fish don't get sick since their disease was not described. In his work, he mentioned that certain chemical compounds of the purified cartilage tissue can suppress angiogenesis, the growth of microvessels, and thereby inhibit the growth of the tumor itself. However, these substances are not absorbed when taken orally and therefore don't work. In addition, the inhibitory effect of shark cartilage is extremely small. Today, there are more powerful chemicals with a similar mechanism of action. Wow! Well, if we're talking about animals, do dogs sweat with saliva? No. With armpits? No, no, no. In fact, they excrete sweat through their paws and then begin to regulate body temperature with rapid breathing. And in this regard, abundant salivation appears. Um, did gladiators really always fight to death? If that was the case, then the most valuable gladiator fighters wouldn't be worth a fortune. So it's more like an MMA fighter. While he gives a spectacle and a show, not necessarily by victories, he makes decent money to both the owner and himself. So many of the good gladiators lived long and comfortably. And the last one. Did humans ever live with dinosaurs? Oh. Well, I know they didn't, but 41% of Americans are sure that they did. How? I mean, how the fuck? We appeared on the planet about 63 million years later than the dinosaurs. 63! Not a year later, but 63 fucking million years ago. I guess we'd better stop here. Yes, please leave the rest for later. It was me, Brock from Broccoli Academy, and check the information more accurately. Well, guys, if you want even more interesting revelations or interesting facts, then support this video with likes, subscriptions, comments, and of course, shares. Don't be greedy, let your friends know about it too.